Hi everybody and welcome back to Mountain Valley Garden. This is Julia. I hope you are all doing really, really well. Today's Saturday and I have my husband home today and today is like the day of just random projects. I wanna get a ton of things done I know we're not gonna get through our entire list, but I wanna get as much done as we possibly can. You might hear in the background, he's working on garden boxes at the moment. So he is building three more garden boxes today. That's gonna to kind of finish out our garden boxes. It's been a slow project from year to year. We've kind of been building them as needed, um, but this will finish out the entire space that we have up on our retaining wall. So we're gonna get those garden boxes done today. I also wanna get the drip finished. So that's another big thing through the all the garden beds. I've done a a lot of it but I want to get all of the drip finished so I can put the pieces away and we'll test it all make sure it's working well um, I need to move some plants around I have a row in the cut flower garden that I need to kind of finish up prepping so just a whole bunch of random things also I'm standing beside my fruit trees and they need a spray as well let me show you something on my peach tree it's covered in aphids I was looking at this the other day and I just thought oh my goodness this does not look right um, and it's because it's starting to do leaf curl and you can see it's just covered in bugs. It's so gross. Um, I'm trying to even find like a healthy, you know, like kind of over here. This is looking good, like healthy leaves. That's kind of what we want, but it is just kind of covered in these aphids. So anyways, I have had it on a spray regimen but they've gotten to it. So we're gonna spray again today and we'll just make sure we're keeping up on it as we are supposed to. Anyways, that's really it. I just wanna bring you guys along and show you what we can get done today, um, especially when the husband's home. He is such a workhorse, so we can really bust out a lot of things and get a lot of things done when he's home. So we'll just take you along in the garden and show you what a normal Saturday workday is like. So for reference, this is kind of the mess that we're dealing with and there are gonna be kids, you know, running around today playing at Saturday. Um, but here's our raised bed vegetable garden. We have boxes on the top tier and also on this lower tier that we have finished in prior years. And if we scroll over here, there's room for about three more boxes and maybe like a pretty pot at the end. So he's already finished this box today. One, we have two more to go and then we're gonna uh, fill them up obviously so just wanted to give you a reference of kind of where we're working at and then also there's the cut flower garden I need to do a little bit of work in there as well butterfly Hello, butterfly. Okay, that was step one, pretty easy. I just had to do a little bit of weeding and get the compost laid down, the drips ready to go. So this row is ready for flowers. I think this is actually going to be my dahlia row. And I have all of my dahlias ready to go. I actually had a sweet, sweet friend who, um, <laughs> my husband's singing in the background because he has his headphones in. Um, but I had a sweet, sweet friend who gave me like 13 dahlia tubers that are just gorgeous, gorgeous varieties. So when we're ready to get dahlias in the ground in a few days, we'll go over all of those, but that will be a beautiful dahlia row. The next thing that I wanna do is take care of this weed. Oh my goodness, it's so frustrating. Um, we have these, I think they're elm trees. I'm sure they're elm trees um, that just fly and root themselves everywhere. So I've really gotta stay on top of them because even ones that get to like this stage right here, they're really hard to eradicate. So I actually have a little baby right there. Um, so we're gonna cut these out and I'm going to use on them this right here. This is the Bonide Stump Out Stump and Vine Killer. We used a lot of this last year behind our fence of these little trees that we're trying to prevent from taking over. So we're gonna cut it down and then we just kind of brush this product on the stump that should take care of it. This 
zipping right along here. This is a sad, sad sight, this peach tree. Oh my goodness. Um, okay, but we'll take care of it. As you can see, I've started cutting out a ring to lay compost down so that we have a tree ring around both of the fruit trees. I need to do that one as well. Um, but I've gone over the fruit tree spray before. I'm just using Bonide fruit tree spray. Um, and the peach is ready to go because we want most of the flower petals to have fallen, which they have. Our apple tree still has quite a few um, of the flower petals. So we're not gonna be spraying that one today, just this peach. And we just wanna completely cover it, top to bottom, underside of the leaves, the ground, everything. I hope it rebounds. You know, there's always the fear that, oh, what if we don't get peaches this year? <laughs> but that's okay, you know, the the fruit trees in general are totally a learning curve for me i just put these in fall before last so we haven't had them very long but i am determined to make sure i know how to take the very best care of them and to you know get them to be beautiful big healthy trees He's so close. <laughs> He's got two boxes done right there. And if I pan over, He's got another box almost done right here, but he had to take a break and let the battery charge. So anyways, we're just making these out of Trex. Um, they've held up really well. We've had these ones up here for probably about five years. So they hold up really well. They're made for, um, you know, like decking and that kind of stuff. But we figured why not make garden boxes out of them? and they have been wonderful. Okay, so I've kind of been checking off the easy things off of my to-do list, but I think it's time. I need to go ahead and get out my drip supplies, my box, and finish up the drip. It's such a pain, but it's so worth it for the rest of the season to know that your things are getting consistently watered. Okay, we are moving right along with the drip, but this is my front garden bed that we need to place drip. Now, I think I've said this before, eventually I wanna remove the curbing and widen out this bed so that it kind of, I want it to fit the scale of the house better. So I definitely want this garden bed bigger and I think I'm gonna extend it, you know, like even down the entryway right there but for now i want to get the drip run and i want to get a few plants moved because if we look under this humongous glorious hollyhock that i cannot wait for i mean it is just going for it but if we look under there is a yarrow that i think we can move there's also two iris there's one and where's the other one right back there is the other one and these guys are not gonna have a chance if we don't move them. So I think we're gonna move the yarrow and the iris. And then I also want to remove these flowering almond bushes. I love them every single year, but they're struggling. And you can see the spent blooms, but do you see how yellow this is? If you look in here close, this yellow right here with the dark green veining, that is a sign of um, low iron. So this is an iron deficiency and they've been struggling for a few years. So 
you know, I'm kind of looking for something different in this space, I think, anyways. So I'm going to try to move these to the back and I will add a whole bunch of iron to them and see if they can bounce a little bit, but they're done flowering, so it's a good time to move them. That's a Luca gem and some leftover tulips. So those things we can just leave because they'll just kind of wither away. But also, if you look behind here, I saw this growing and I was like, what is that? I know it's not a weed. I could not figure it out. So I just let it go. It is a snapdragon that is about to bloom. <laughs> and look, it's just tucked all the way back in there. So I think I want to move that as well. Oh, that's super risky. I mean, it was just kind of a snapdragon that I was treating as an annual up here. It wasn't even my favorite. It's a pale yellow if I am remembering right. But I think it's worth um, trying to transplant. So I think we're gonna move that one as well. So what I'm hoping for is that this whole space will be dedicated to annuals. That is the plan at least. Okay, so all of these things are going to prefer to be in full sun, and I fully expect that we might lose some blooms um, or forfeit, forfeit blooms this season. I'm totally okay with that. I would rather get them moved out and not be so incredibly crowded. Um, I think that will give them the best chance. So we have a yellow snapdragon, a couple of iris, our yarrow, and then I also dug out this um, Lily. I don't love the color. It's kind of like this dark maroony red. I especially didn't like it in the front garden bed, but if we tuck it back in here somewhere, maybe I will like it better. So we're just going to move it back. Okay, I need just a little bit of a break. I mean, we've stopped for lunch. This has been an all day thing, which is so great. I love it because we get so much done and get a lot knocked out, but I am feeling it, I'm tired. And so I'm hoping that I can get a little bit more done and then we're gonna call it for the day, but I just need a little rest. I mean, look at me, we're surrounded by drip tube. I have dirt all over my face. <laughs> that means it's been a hard day of work. I changed my mind as I was sitting there. I was really starting to like, you know, kind of go downhill. And I thought we just need to get it done while I still have a little bit of energy left. So we're gonna go get the drip done in the front yard and we're gonna call it. That's gonna be the last thing that we need to get done. And you guys, that is gonna do it for me today. I am pretty wiped out and I still have to go and get cleaned up. And I have um, something that me and my husband are going to tonight. So it has been a busy, busy day. We've been out here and at it all day long, but I'm so happy with what I got accomplished today. I'm gonna take you around the garden super quickly, show you what we got done, and then we're gonna wrap this up. So just starting here in the backyard, we got this last row done. I'm so happy about that. Uh, the cut flower garden is just kind of buttoned up. It looks clean, it looks tidy, and that row is ready to be planted. Got our, our weeds out from uh, you know under the boxes. 
Um, and then my husband, if I come over here slow, he did finish these last three raised beds, um, garden boxes. I'm so, so happy about it. Now you will notice they are different colors. This color, this light color actually matches the color that is up on that top tier. So what we're gonna do in the fall, since I already have like seeds and strawberries and plants, all sorts of things in these beds, if you guys can hear me, the wind is definitely picking up. But anyways, what we're gonna do in the fall is we're going to swap the boxes around. So we're gonna end up bringing all of these light boxes down to this bottom tier so that they match the ones right there. And then these darker boxes, we will move up to that upper tier. I think it'll just look so much better. Um, we're gonna live with this for a season. It, it will bother me, but that's okay. I can wait for a season. Um, I'm just really glad that they are built. I, I needed to use them because we have things that are just ready to go. Over here, we have um, bell peppers and jalapenos and stuff that are really, mm, they're looking okay. They're looking okay. Oh, this wind. Anyways, we filled these boxes with dirt. You can see that we do not have enough. I'm thinking three or four more bags. We'll fill these up. They'll go to the top and then these will be ready for planting. So I'm really glad that these got done. Then down the rock wall here, which I'm really just happy about. I'm really happy about this rock wall. It's starting to have the look that I want. The more and more that I add to it, I just think it's looking beautiful. But we have the snapdragon it's looking sad we'll see we'll we'll come out and look at it tomorrow i just don't know it is not happy with me it was all butted up ready to bloom and then i moved it so i don't know that one is a big maybe um but if we keep coming down here there's the lily that we transplanted so we'll see if it blooms um there's the yarrow um, it's a little bit high. I could come in with some more compost. I mean, I need to come in and, with compost and kind of mulch everything anyways. But um, I think the yarrow will look really pretty there. It didn't like its spot up front anyways. So maybe this spot will be better for it. And then if we keep on coming, I mean, just look at, oh, lots of beautiful things. Um, we have these two iris that we unearthed from that huge hollyhock. So they will definitely have some more breathing room back here. And I'm hoping that they'll do better and that they still might bloom for us this season. Who knows, we'll see. Over here in the backyard, we did get the peach tree sprayed, which ugh, it just, it was hurting my heart to see all those bugs on them. But anyways, hopefully that spray will help. And I'm just gonna keep up on the regimen that I use. Um, we need to finish cutting out the circle, but that will be a project for another day. And then this is what took up so much time, but I'm so glad is done, um, the drip. I got all of the drip done in this, oop, in this back garden bed, all of the drip done in that garden bed over there. A lot of this I do kind of want to adjust. I think this is a fairly narrow garden bed. I would like to extend it probably to like the fence line and just kind of bring it out. I, am, I think that would look better. But in the meantime, we still need drip. So I got all of this drip done. The drip done here, there's the Vanessa Bell rose that we've recently planted that can handle some shade. I'm really excited about that rose. We got all of the drip done in this front garden bed. Look at this salvia. Oh, I can't remember the variety, but it's a pink salvia um, and it's just gorgeous. The bees have been loving it all day. And I got all the plants <laughs> moved out from under here. Um, we did end up leaving this flowering almond bush. I, I like the structure of it and I like the, the bookends of it. Um, we're gonna fill in the middle space with annuals. So I think if we can get it some iron, get it looking not so sad, um, I'll still like it up here. So we're gonna hold off on that. I did fill up these planters with some soil to get them ready to go for annuals. Got our beautiful hanging baskets up there that I've already planted with beautiful pink flowers. Can't wait till they get big and showy. And then lastly, I got this little section right here, got the drip laid down. So it was a lot of drip work today, but I will be so glad of it in the end. Um, and then we just need to come in and mulch, mulch on top. So that'll be easy. Over here, we just have a coral berry. I can't remember the variety. Still has a tag, candy. Candy coral berry, which is beautiful. And then some white echinacea. 
the wind is really, really starting to pick up. So we're gonna wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys, you know, enjoyed just seeing like a normal Saturday work day. Um, this is us <laughs> almost every Saturday working out in the yard. Normally we don't have quite this much going on, but you know, it's just the beginning of spring. So there's lots to do, lots of projects that need to be done. So I'm really happy with what we got done today. Anyways, thank you all so much for joining me today. I'm gonna go inside and get cleaned up. So we will see you guys in the next video. Bye.